Beautiful night for baseball in Kansas City. Electric atmosphere in the ballpark. Everybody pointing toward game three of the American League Division Series. Seth Lugo this year in a year of great starts probably had his best start against the Yankees on September 10th. Seven innings no runs 10 strikeouts. So here we go first pitch. Slow ground ball went to his left. Over to first run away. So Torres trying to ambush Lugo but no way. Now Soto. Lieutenant hitter up there and swings and drives one deep center field. Isbell's got it. Right at the fence. So he flirted with the home run, but it's a big ballpark, much bigger than Yankee Stadium. Here's Judge in this series, one for nine, an infield hit, two walks, four strikeouts. Line shot, Rich got it, a leap and a catch. So Judge didn't strike out, he hit it hard, but one, two, three, and out. Well, Clark Smith made 16 starts in the regular season. Why? He had a right lat strain that kept him out for about three months, but the Yankees were 11 and five. In those 16 starts. All right, here's Michael Massey, the lefty hitting second baseman to lead off against Clark Schmidt. Ground ball taken by Cabrera at first, and he steps on the bag for the unassisted putout. Big reception for Bobby Witt Jr. It's almost like this crowd is willing, imploring their superstar to have a big night. Hitless so far in this series against the Yankees. A drive to right. Back goes Soto. Back to the track in front of the wall. He makes the catch. So Witt heads for the dugout now 0 for 11 in the series. Now two down here's the big lefty hitter Vinny Pasquantino hit hard on one hop to second. Glaber fields throws to first and the inning is over. Jazz Chisholm walking to the plate greeted by a chorus of boos. Chisholm rolls it softly to the right side. Massey scoots over gobbles it up throw to first in time for the out. And that ends the top of the second inning. Another one, two, three inning for Seth Lugo. He's gone six up, six down to start his evening. That brings up Yuli Gurriel. He's only got two hits so far in this division series, but he's walked twice and he's also scored four runs. He delivers and Gurriel bangs it high in the air, deep to the left field corner. Verdugo races over. It's high off the wall. Gurriel rounds first and he cruises into second with a double. He just missed a home run. A base hit all the same and Yuli Gurriel's in scoring position with only one out in the bottom of the second. Well runner at second with one man out. Now here is Melendez a left hand hitter. Struck him out swinging breaking. Melendez goes down swinging second strike out of the inning for Schmidt. Gurriel remains at second with two out. Now Michael Garcia who went four for five in game two. And the pitcher breaking ball grounded to first. Cabrera feeds Schmidt on the run to take the tag. And end the inning. Labor Torres comes to the plate. Runner on first with two outs. Royals and Yankees scoreless in the top of the third. A little bloop, shallow right field. It lands foul and barely so, very close to the chalk. Well, apparently, the Yanks want to check this one out, and it might be worth a look. Boy, you lose a sight of the ball right there, so it makes me feel like the white of the ball meshed in with the white of the line. If even the tiniest fraction touches the line, it's a fair ball. The call on the field stands. The ball is foul. So the call on the field stands. It is a foul ball. The Yankees lose one of their two challenges. Still three and two on Torres with two outs in the top of the third. Torres hits it high in the air, straightaway right field. Frazier sprints back, got turned around, recovers, makes a basket grab on the warning track. Adam Frazier hung with it, and he secured it for the final out of the inning. Soto, as he always does, walked well over 100 times this year and is on base percentage well over 400 as it is every year. Judge lined hard to Witt who made a leaping catch in the first inning. And what's pertinent here is his ongoing postseason struggles. Here's a drive to deep left field. Does it have enough? It does not. At the edge of the track Melendez takes it. I thought he might have changed the narrative on that swing but no such luck for Judge who now since the beginning of the 22 postseason is six for his last 45 in the playoffs, Austin Wells. The 0 2 pitch. Called strike three. Wells thought it was high. Generally, though, a catcher won't put up an extended argument because he wants that call from the plate umpire when he's back behind the plate. Second strikeout of the night for Lugo. And now he faces Stanton, who grounded a short his first time up. Swung on and hit in the air to left center deep. It's going to land on the track right at the base of the wall rounding third Soto he's coming home the throw is offline he scores 
It is an RBI double by Stanton that hit the very base of the left center field wall and scoring from first really easily with Soto and the Yankees take a one nothing lead on their first hit of the game. Top of the fifth inning. Yankees have a one nothing lead. Volpe to lead off. Lined up the middle as a base hit center field. So Volpe hit it hard and right up the middle for a base hit. There's a lit off hit for the Yanks. Their second hit of the game. Another walk. The bases are loaded for Soto. The exact same situation that he had in his first start against Baltimore. Bases loaded in the fifth inning for Lugo. Decision time for Quatrero. And Soto drives it to right center field. It'll score at least a run. Catch made by Isbell. Volpe tags. Scores the Yankees second run. Cabrera scoots the third. Torres holds first. Maybe one of the most difficult batters in all the game to face in that kind of situation. He does not chase bad pitches. Very rarely hits the ball on the ground. And he comes through with the sack fly. A chance to bust the game wide open. There you go. This is one of those moments that Yankee fans and judge fans have been waiting for. Judge swings. It's a high fly ball center field. Isbell is there. He's got it and Royals fans have never been more delighted about the Yankees scoring a run than they are in this inning because it could have been a lot worse. Two nothing Yankees with two down in the bottom of the fifth. Royals have one hit against Clark Schmidt in four and two thirds innings. Frazier struck out on a cut fastball in the third inning. Frazier swings hits a ground ball deep short Volpe backhands throws on the run high over Cabrera and hits the netting in front of the Royals dugout and stays in play. And Frazier will have a two out infield single and Frazier has the Royals second hit and he's at first base with two down for Isbell. Isbell was hit by a pitch in the third inning swing and a line drive slicing off the left field line. Right on the chalk. Frazier is around third. He will score on an opposite field double by Isbell. That ball was slicing and slicing and slicing until Denny it got into that Bermuda triangle in left field where the ball has a tendency to straighten out. And now Isbell's in scoring position with the potential tying run. And Michael Massey's at the plate. And the 2 2 to Massey. Swing and a line drive right center. Soto on the run. Dives and it's by him. All the way to the wall. Isbell scores to tie the game. Massey is on his way to third and he will slide in with a game tying triple. With two outs and nobody on, the Royals have scored two. And Clark Schmidt is going to come out of the game. And it'll be Clay Holmes to face Bobby Witt Jr. With the go ahead run at third base and two down. Junior takes down and away ball four. Vinny against Clark Schmidt grounded sharply to second base in the first inning and then walked in the fourth. Swung on a high fly to mid center. There's Judge to make the catch and the inning. So Pasquantino flies to center. Big, big spot in the game. Brady Singer makes his postseason debut out of the bullpen. And he comes on in the seventh inning to face Aaron Judge with Soto at first base two down Royals two Yankees two. Judge one of his generation's greatest players is yet to have a memorable postseason moment. Check swing. It's a swing on appeal to first base umpire Mark Carlson. Judge is stunned. Aaron Boone Yankees manager is screaming from the third base dugout. And I think the Royals got a break. Well, here's Stanton, who's had a really good night. Doubled off the base of the left center field wall to knock it a run, then singled hard to center and then stole a base. Swung on a high fly to left. Back goes Melendez on the track. He's at the wall, and she's got a Stantonian home run. He drove a high fly deep left into the Yankee bullpen to give the Yankees a 3 2 lead. Giancarlo, <laughs> no sequel, Scopalo. And the Yankees now take the lead with six outs to go. Luke Weaver looking to close out this eighth inning and then come out for the ninth and nail down the win if all goes well for him. First hitter he faces Bobby Witt Jr. 0 for 12 so far in the series. Jr. swings. It's a ground ball left side. That's through. And Bobby's on with one out. 
First hit of the series for Witt. He's aboard representing the tying run with one out in the eighth. Pasquantino at the plate. Over two of the walk tonight. And Weaver deals. Swung on and line to center field. Diving catch, Volpe. Oh, what a play. It was not hit hard. But he had a chance to run from the shortstop side of second to the first base side in the outfield to make a diving catch. And so Junior's back to first base, two down. And now Salvador Perez. Swing and a ground ball up the middle into center field. Junior makes the turn and he'll go to third. And the Royals have runners at the corners with two down. And here's Matt Blake as the infield is coming over to talk to Weaver. The tying runs at third, that's Bobby Witt. The lead run is at first, that's Salvador Perez. And here comes the right hand hitter, Guriel. Swung on, hit high in the air to center, playable. Judge is there mid center. He makes the catch. And the Yankees hang on to their 3 2 lead. 3 2 Yanks. Weaver's going to stay in and try and notch a five out save. And the Royals are down to their last out. And they'll send up Tommy Pham, who has a good postseason history and who, by reputation, rises to the moment rather than shrinking from it. A ground ball to short. Volpe fields, throws to first, in time. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. And in doing so, they take a three games to two lead in the best of five series.